First of all, I saw the big news, according, you know, the CDC recommending, or not recommending, but not recommending uh, masking. Is that right? Uh, no. So, for, for people who are fully vaccinated, correct? Mm-hmm. So, the, the protective measures for people who aren't vaccinated remain the same, social distance, mask, all those things. But for people who are fully vaccinated, which means 14 days past um, their last COVID vaccine, if it's a multi-dose series, um, those uh, protective measures aren't necessary because the vaccine is effective enough at preventing both symptomatic and asymptomatic illness as well as preventing vaccinated people from giving COVID to anyone else. That they're just, they're simply not necessary. And uh, I guess that's, uh, you know, I mean, how, how, you, how have you guys been doing these past few months? You know, a lot more people have been getting vaccinated for it. Of course, I think this whole office did. Uh, uh, sure. what's, what have you guys seen out of the COVID rates and uh, kind of where are we at right now? So they're pretty low, about uh, where we were prior to July 4th of last summer, um, which is when the first time we saw a bump was after, after Independence Day last summer. So we're, we're averaging between six and ten cases a week. Uh, so, oh, hello. Uh, at at our peak this winter. Oh, I'm sorry. I, uh, sorry, I just uh, something. Cut out. Yeah, you cut out there. I'm sorry. Right after the Fourth of July. So. Yeah. So um, so we're averaging um, six to ten cases a week, and to put that into context. Um, on our, when, when we were at our peak of cases, we had 30 cases in a day um, over the winter. Oh, wow. So that's, that's a pretty big drop. <laughs> yeah. And uh, what do you attribute that to? Is, is it a lot just vaccinating the people who would show symptoms? Uh, kind of what's been going on there? Uh, why has so, it dropped so much? Right. Uh, there's a couple forces at play. First, um, the rate of vaccination is increasing, and, and that's driving down... Um, uh, the rate of transmission is decreased because uh, of, of the number of people who are vaccinated or who have some naturally acquired immunity. Um, the virus isn't as good at finding other hosts once somebody is infected, and so not as many people are being infected now as as was over the winter. Okay, and uh, as far as you guys, I mean, I hate to say uh, what's it like getting being on the back end of this, but it certainly seems like it's that way now that the oh, vaccine's no. in circulation. Yeah, yeah I, certainly, I certainly hope we're on the back end. Um, so, um, uh, well, we hope we're there. You know, we, we kind of have, we have, uh, uh, we're, we're cautiously optimistic. Um, the one kind of question that remains in our heads is, you know, we expect the summer to be very nice in terms of, case counts and risk of spread, we expect to continue to see those decrease um, over the summer. Um, the Kind of the unanswered question in our heads is what happens this fall? And uh, that's a long time from now, and there's there's a lot of variables that come into play there in terms of um, uh, uh, how many people are susceptible this fall because uh, uh, this, like all other respiratory viruses, spreads better in wintertime, just as we saw this peak. Um, uh, over the winter, this winter, um, and, and so it'll be, it'll be, we're, we're, we're uh, cautiously optimistic that by the time winter rolls around, we'll have enough people who are, who have been vaccinated that we don't see a huge spike. Do we expect to see a bump? Unfortunately, probably will, um, but we're hoping not for, we're, we're, uh, we're obviously optimistic that we're not going to have another winter like we had this winter, which was just absolutely terrible. Um, uh, you know, I, I've taken to calling it the dark winter because so many people got sick and so many people died this winter. It was just, um, it was a, it was a um, terrible mark in human history uh, that unfortunately we've, we've lived through in our lifetimes. So, um, uh, optimism, that's where we are. Absolutely. And uh, what is it about winter that makes us more virulent than, say, during the summer? Um, just sure. a quick question. A couple yeah, it's a it's a it's a it's a great question. Uh, there's some environmental factors that have come into play. Um, less moisture in the air um, and cooler air are both uh, conducive to the spread of airborne droplets. Um, airborne droplets remain viable for longer and spread further in in uh, low humidity and cooler temperatures versus high humidity and warmer temperatures. Uh, and the second is behavioral on our part. We have a lot of holidays. Oh, you cut out there again. <laughs> oh, hello? As, 
Oh, sorry, we're you cut out there right after you said holiday. I'm yeah. sorry. We have a lot of holidays in the winter, and we get together uh, with family and friends and are, uh, have different social habits in the winter versus other times in the year. Um, and those two in concert um, cause a significant increase in cases. Okay. Well, that I did not know that. <laughs> so, yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, and that's all I got, if, unless there's something you'd like to add. Like I said, I'll kind of go off your guys' announcement a little bit with the article. No, no, it's it's just uh, happy news for us. Um, it, it's it's um, you know, and I guess the other the other thing to add is you know why did they make that change now? And and the answer is we have enough evidence now. There's there's three um, three studies um, that support the fact that the vaccine prevents not only symptomatic infection but it also prevents asymptomatic infection and. Um, is effective at preventing people who are vaccinated from, from spreading the illness to other people. So um, they were basically waiting for that body of evidence um, to grow and, and um, before they before they uh, made that change. All right. And as far as this fall, do you see uh, you know any kind of variant? Because you always hear about these variants that are coming out, and uh, do you see that being a I mean, not just you, but from communications with the CDC or what you've had read, uh, do you see that being an issue this fall? Uh, we don't really have any way of knowing. Um, the, what we do know um, is that as transmission reduces, um, viral pressure uh, in terms of mutation will decrease, and the likelihood of new, um, more contagious variants um, will diminish, meaning as we control the spread of the virus, the emergence of new more contagious or, or, or more virulent uh, uh, mutations will decrease as well. So basically it's in all of our interests to uh, do everything we can to, to keep, spread, keep spread low simply because that will reduce the chances of one of these um, you know, mutant strains uh, being more virulent or, or being um, more contagious. All right. Well, no, that's all I got. And hey, I appreciate your time, sir.